Hello friends, Concept Made Simpler is coming up with a new web series known as Selenium in which it will be teaching us various automations. So let's get started. So firstly we'll create a project. So the steps are File, New, Java Project. So let's name it Selenium. So now the project, now since the project is created, we'll create a package inside the project. So new package and since we are working on automation so let's name it automation now our package is created inside the project uh, so now to run the selenium we would need certain dependencies so first let's download those so in google you need to search download chrome driver 2.35 once this link is open click on this particular link and search for the uh, Chrome driver 2.35 and download it. Uh, also, you would be needing certain Selenium dependencies. For that, you need to search selenium.hq.org slash download. Once this website is loaded, click on this particular link. So now since all the dependencies have been downloaded, so let's add those dependencies in our project. So this is our project. So we'll right click, we'll go to build path. From the build path, we'll go to configure build path to add all the jars. So, from in the library staff, we'll add external jars. So, once this is the zip file which has been downloaded. So, now once you extract it, these are the jars which has been extracted. So, first you'll go inside the lib folder, add all the jars. Then you will add the other two left jars. And apply. So now all the jars are added. Now you also need the web driver. So you, what you can do is you can just new folder inside the Selenium, which and just name it web driver. So in this folder, we are going to add the Chrome driver. So you just need to take this and drag and drop and you can just copy files or link files whatever you want so i would go for copy files since all our dependencies are added so we'll go ahead and create our class file so we'll right click on the automation package we we'll create our class file and name it open google so now we'll write our main function inside the class Now we need to add the path of the Chrome driver. So first we'll write an absolute path for that. So we'll write string. Absolute path is equals to system dot set property get property. Since we need to get the user directory, so we'll do user dot directory dir. Now when we are gonna set the Chrome driver to that particular path. So we'll do system dot set property system dot set property web driver web dot chrome dot driver make sure that all of them are in small letters we are going to set the property of this to absolute path plus we are going to add the path location of the chrome driver in our project so it is Double slash inside the web driver folder. 
it's inside the web driver folder and inside it the file name is chrome driver dot exe so now since the oh since we have already set the path uh, set the property of chrome driver so let's instantiate it so we'll do chrome driver Now, since we have already added the package, we just need to import it. And now, since we just need, uh, now we can open any URL that we want. So now we'll go ahead with Google. So driver dot get. So since the project is ready, let's go ahead and run and see. So now you can see that the Chrome is open and uh, it has already searched for Google.com. So this is it for this video. Stay tuned for more such videos on Selenium automation. Subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications for our latest videos.